Morning, sunshine. I'm Tobin. It's bright and early. I got a mail call that I've been wanting to do for a couple of days. I think this came on Saturday. It's now Tuesday. Just been super busy doing the dad thing, doing the college football thing, hiking, you know, wanted to say biking because it rhymed, but I haven't been on a bicycle in years, nor have I been on a motorcycle in years. That's not why you're here. You want to hear about my teddy bear? I had a teddy bear when I was five. No, I want to tell you about my, <laughs> okay. So his name wasn't Teddy. <laughs> Nameless Brushworks. You guys may have seen this. I first used it in a video. I believe it was my Terry's Dr. Lion. Adam is the artisan. He is a friend of mine. I've known him since before he started making brushes. That's his pooch right there. I don't know. I want to say his dog's name is... Is it Cerebus? Cerebus? Something? I apologize, brother. It's early, but this is his dog, and his dog is holding a shaving brush. The name of his company is Nameless Brushworks. And I've known Adam since before he started doing brushes. Um, he gave me this one, okay? So I did not pay for this one. This is my first and only until my mail call the other day. Now, this one I did pay for. He did throw in a couple of extras. I'll be using my Hendrix Classics and Co. Um, mail, mailbox, mail opener, letter opener, the chopper. I've never used it on a bag before. I'm probably doing it wrong. I should probably be trying it up here. There we go. That was better. I, I cut up at the top like I should have done. So I got a few tubes in here. Oh, I love it. There's a better picture of his dog. Thank you, brother. I didn't know I was going to get a sticker. Hopefully I can get that to peel off or hopefully you included a sticker. So I'm going to assume there's only one sticker, three tubes. So I'm going to assume that the brush is inside here. In no way, bro. Um... It's stickered shut. I might have to go let's see how easily this comes off. If it gives me any resistance at all, um, I'll use my wife and daughter's hair dryer and I'll just apply a little bit of heat to get this to come off more cleanly. But let's see how well it'll come off. It's not very warm in my den. And I really don't want to hurt the sticker. There may be one inside. I don't know. Damn it, Adam. Okay. I'll be right back, guys. I couldn't find it. I got to go to work here in a few minutes. So I'm not going to text my girls who are at work and school and bother them. But what I'm going to do, I've talked about before, how I hold on to a variety of blades um, for measuring blade gaps and stuff like that. So I'm just going to take this Wilkinson sword. And then this way, I will have it... Um, at least on the tube. I was trying to peel it off. And it wasn't wanting to come off clean. And I absolutely love the sticker. If you watch my content at all, you know I am a dog person. In many ways, I think dogs are better than people. Okay, so what I have inside here is a 26 millimeter silver tip a brush handle that i didn't really commission i just is there a sticker in here no it's silica all right adam dude gorgeous so i told him i wanted something that this is amazing brother i love your style i love your design i told him i wanted something that would um be more of a neutral color, something that I could use in more shave of the day photos. And one of the mistakes I made with my Grizzly Bay brush, I think I put it up in the deep storage, is it's absolutely beautiful. It wasn't a mistake. Um, but with my Grizzly Bay brush is I loved the way it looks. I use that in my commando shave. It's just, you know, some brushes when you're anal and have OCD like me and think that everything when it comes to shaving has to match. You, uh, maybe take it too far. 
Sorry, I was thinking about my brushes. So, oh, that's so soft. So this is cut and stuffed um, to Adam's exact uh, specifications. And this is a silver tip, completely unbleached. Like I said, Adam is a friend of mine, so I have spoken very candidly with Adam over the years. I love this new little lip that you got here, or, or new to me anyways. It's not on my other one. Um, and so he knows very well how I feel about um, brushes that are overly gelled. And I've sh There's the sticker! Thank you. You have redeemed yourself. Love you, brother. Thank you. Oh my God, there's two stickers. All right, all right, okay, okay. Santa's taking note, Santa's taking note. So if if you buy one of these, I paid $100. But what I'm paying $100 for is for the silver tip and the handle, okay? So you can get synthetics cheaper. He's included a total of three brushes, three additional knots for me. And I'll show you here in two seconds after I open up this one and show you why, in case you don't know. Sweet, another thing of silica just hit the floor. So I have here an AP Shave Co. Yep, an AP Shave Co. Um, I believe it's a 26 millimeter. He didn't say in the text, I don't believe, or I didn't write it down. I wrote some little cheat notes over to my left or your right. So this is a 26 millimeter AP Shave Co. You can see here at the bottom, look at that, how it's different below the glue plug. Um, this is a, looks like a 26 millimeter spectral synth from Phoenix Artisan Accoutrements. And then this is the 26 millimeter. It'll come to me. This is another PAA knot. Give me a minute. It'll come to me. If it doesn't, I'm going to put it up here. Um, cheating by looking at the brushes. It's the one that's in the Phantom Aerolite and in the Star Wisp. What's the name of it? Um, anywho, so check this out. It's supposed to be eight pounds of pull force. That's pretty strong. Sweet. Okay. So why? I'm not going to whip up any lather with this today. This is an absolutely beautiful knot. You guys see this? Gorgeous. I love it when an artisan, brush artisan, has options for us when it comes to knots. One of the things, you know, just being truthful, just being honest, nothing against anyone or what they do, right? But when artisans limit themselves to one or two knots, it makes me less apt to buy from them. One of the reasons why I have a bunch of brushes from Bobby Moffat. One, Bobby Moffat is an amazing guy and a, one of the best brush artisans in the community today but bobby has had like eight or nine different knots over the years and if you go to his website right now i haven't looked at his etsy or talked to him lately but i guarantee you he has probably six different options for you including his high mountain white and the manchurian and um you know three or four or five different synthetics so adam the artisan at nameless works he's heard my my Karen whining and moaning and groaning about that. And so he has been looking for different ways to, you know, to come up with different options. And, and these guys, you know, aren't cheap. This is, you know, half the cost of my brush is right here in this. And then just because we're friends and I'm a content creator and he knows that, you know, I'm going to put the word out. Um, he included these other three knots as a gift. Thank you, Adam. Thank you for the two stickers. Um, one is going up right up here. I'd love to have a t-shirt or a ball cap that looked badass on a ball cap. Um, I'd pay for that. So anyways, he, instead of having just a, a bottom, you know, resin, we have a piece of a metal down there. These are one inch. That's not an inch. It's inch in diameter and then 16th of an inch wide. Okay. Yeah. So you have an inch here and then 16th of an inch wide. Um, magnet he got the idea from paul trotter and my understanding is you know paul he has paul's complete blessings and paul um, paul trotter i don't have any trotter's brushes i wish i did i've always wanted one um you can get those at the shave supplier directly from paul but you know paul has kind of mentored him because adam is new at this even though looking at his craftsmanship and the way that he does you know these things 
um, this finger guard or whatever you're, he's calling it. Sorry, brain fart. Still needs more caffeine. But the idea is, is that you can have one handle. Did you hear that? Holy moly. And it's eight pounds of force. And he said that you can flick it out if you really, really try. But just feeling the force, the, um, I don't see this badger coming out. And I got to grab it so tight that if anything, I'm afraid of hurting the glue plug because that's so strong. So I don't think that that is ever going to come out with normal use because like that's quite a bit of force that might be eight pounds of force i don't know this, you know he said they're eight pounds of force um let's try this guy this is the ap shave co so i think these will come off right just the one is glued on there because this isn't quite sitting right see there so i think what i need to do I haven't watched anybody else's videos, if there are videos out there of these. So yeah, you can see here, that one stayed on, it's glued on there. And then these two here, they're just magnet magnetized onto one another. So you could actually change um, the loft and the way that it sits in, in the handle. But I'm just going to, for time's sake, <laughs> keep dropping them. Slippery little suckers. And so let's throw this on here real quick. Boom. Oh, buddy. So there is my AP Shave Co. Beautiful. Real quick. Uh, spectral Synth. That came off nice and easy. Spectral Synth. This is the Spectral. Gosh damn it, Tobin. What? Ooh, that looks like it was made. Match made in heaven. I really like the look of the badger on there, but that looks great too. Maybe, maybe a little too matchy. That's probably what my wife would say. What does she know? She married me. So there's that. She still shaves with bar soap. I love you, baby. Ooh, wrong way. <laughs> Magnetic fields are really cool. And like, when you were a kid, did you ever play with magnets and like try to make them? I did. I was that kid that would sit there for like 10, 20 minutes just playing with magnets. But you know, those are like a Gen X thing. We didn't have the iPods. This knot that this chump can't remember the name of, and I know there's probably a few of you screaming it at, at, your, at your screen. Boom, that looks great too. Oh man, I really like the look. Like I said, I think the, um, so just for fun, I'm not gonna put the magnets, <laughs> the magnet jump back on. I was trying to set it down. Get down there, boy. So that looks great. So you can see here how like the, the, well, you may not be able to, but um, how the magnets allow us to change the loft. And you could probably, you know, buy some more if you wanted to, to create more loft. Um, that looks pretty damn good. There's the AP Shave Co. And then this Badger Knot is gorgeous. Oh yeah, so like I totally, this fits in here perfectly. It's got like a bigger glue plug on it too than these do. Or at least it's grabbing everything. Look at this. That's my HCNC um, blade bank. <laughs> This is awesome. I could play with my brushes all 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 the while longer now. So the seems the difference in that glue plug there. Those aren't gonna stick together. Get in there. Thank you, Adam. Dude, two stickers. That is so cool. Um I wish I would have asked you. I wouldn't have wasted your time at the beginning of the video, guys. Oh, and on the bottom at the back of this one, he wrote, Thank you, Tobin. No, thank you. I appreciate you. And uh I can't wait to use especially this guy here. And truth be told, I could be wrong. Don't take me at my word for this. I think this is my first. It may not be. But I believe this is my first AP Shave Co. Not. Probably isn't. I probably have like five of them. <sighs> first world problems. My spectral synth. And then the mystery brush that has now grabbed a hold of my chopper. <laughs> freaking awesome dude i am in love i'm gonna put this back on here boop let's give this baby some loft
That is a gorgeous knot. I hope my camera is doing it justice because that is an absolutely beautiful, unbleached knot. And, you know, they call it gelling. It's not gelling. You're bleaching. And bleach destroys the fibers. <sighs> Y'all take care. It was good to see you. It's good to be seen by you. It's the little big things. Like, having fun with magnets, right? If you haven't played with Magnet in a while, go get yourself some Magnets. Have a great day. Thank you, Adam. Check out Adam at the Wet Shaving Store. Uh, if I haven't already, I'll put some photos of brushes that are currently available there. A few of them are marked down. My code does not apply, but if you pick up a brush and you pick up some other things, make sure to use my code Tobin at checkout. You'll save 10% all or nothing. That is mine and uh, Andy's way of giving back to the community. Thank you, Andy, again, for allowing me to be able to do that with my affiliate code. It's a little big things. You can contact Adam uh, on Instagram. I'm sure I've already put that up at the beginning, or I better have. If not, I failed. I'm sorry, Adam, if I failed you. Dude, I love this. This is gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. I want to take it to work with me and like carry it and like pet it and smell it and show everybody that gets on my bus. This is my brush. There are none like it. And this one is mine. <sighs> yeah. A new silver tip, 26 millimeter, high density. Ooh, and it's gorgeous. Take care, y'all. <laughs> I need to be committed. Take care.